Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be talking team of the season so far, market today. Not a ton of stuff that really happened today, but I want to talk about some stuff that could be upcoming with SBCs, talk about this market, what maybe moved a little bit today, talk about the uh, Laporte objective, and these team of the season so far cards that are actually getting kind of low right now in the weekend league sell-off and a lot of this is interesting to me because sometimes there are a few opportunities that we have had in times past in fifa where we can actually flip some of these cards uh not only from friday night into saturday but also from saturday into sunday so um some of these cards have dropped off a lot i mean that shows me that people are finishing their weekend leagues and uh, especially since a lot of these cards have chem styles and stuff like that as you see them get listed up on open bids as well that's kind of a sign that people are finishing the weekend league and that they're just they're, they're selling cards to uh, get the cards out and to get their coins or whatever they're looking to do. Like Philippe Anderson right now, uh, there's a lot of it at 900,000 coins, which is usually not the case. He's 860 right now. So Philippe Anderson is looking pretty low, in my opinion. Um, and we just got a sale as well. But I just want to talk about these cards and how I feel like they're going. And then also, um, maybe also talk about uh, upcoming SBCs that we could see today. We don't have anything in the code as of right now, but a guaranteed EFL Team of the Season SBC um, would be, if we if this would have been Team of the Season last year, that SBC would have came today. Uh, the lower league guaranteed SBC always came on Sunday, uh, but I don't know how they're doing that this year, or if they're going to even do a guaranteed SBC for these cards um, because the way that they're in packs and, and that time period. And I'll talk about that a little bit today as well. But uh, especially if, if this is the first day that we see, I just want to talk about the scenario of the guaranteed team this season SBC. I'm pretty sure last year, the guaranteed SBC for the lower leagues was like 84 rated or 85 rated squad to get a guaranteed tots. Now, is it worth it? Not really, but people would do this, right? Because of the fact that you could get Calvin Phillips, the fact that you get Mateus Perea, I mean, those are the really only the two like really good guys uh, out of this set. But uh, that SBC, what EA is doing with that, and the reason why EA drops that SBC is because that supplies a lot of untradeable team of the season cards onto this game, which then EA will continue to start uh, requiring for other SBCs down the road and down the line, down these next few weeks. Um, especially with Team of the Week moments cards not being released anymore. I feel like they're going to require Team of the Season cards even more in some of these SBCs, and that's partially why we're seeing these cards in packs for an extra amount of time. So these, these cards are in packs for 10 days total, the EFL tots, which that means, uh, and I was a little bit mistaken by this earlier today on stream, that means that next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, when they release another... They're going to release two more leagues next Friday, right? So like maybe the Premier League and the Saudi League, right? If they're doing the same combinations as last year. That means that next weekend during Premier League TOTS, you're going to have the ability to pack Premier League Team of the Season cards, Saudi League Team of the Season cards, and EFL Team of the Season cards. So there's going to be 60 plus Team of the Season cards in packs, which is going to really, really, really make people want to open their, their packs and maybe buy packs. And also, it's going to really falsely um, show this number right here. The team of the season so far, player pack percentage. Uh, it's probably going to be even higher this next weekend. And then EA is going to be like, oh, you have a really good chance of packing a team of the season player. Well, you know, even right now, you have an 8.5% chance of packing a TOS card. 7.5% of that is a EFL player. And the other 1% is like the team of the season most consistent. It's going to be like that for Prem too. Um, but I think another reason why they're doing this is, is le leaving the lower league in packs for 10 days is to supply all of those TOTS cards on the market because I think they're going to uh, use team of the season cards again as a requirement more often than they have in prior years. Now, they haven't done it yet. Today, we got this Ollie Watkins SBC, which, you know, is not a very good value SBC in my opinion, unless you're like, this guy plays for what, Bre Brentford? Is that the club name? Unless you're uh, a fan of this league, of this of this team, uh, I don't think it's worth it at all. But it did rise the market today for 84s, 85s, and 86s. all went up a little bit on, on some cards because of this guy. His face stats look great. But other than that, it, uh, 
not really that good of a card. Three star, three star, 65 composure. Uh, and then we got this player moments Laporte today. Uh, and I'm curious to see what you guys think about this because the way that I'm looking at it is we're in team of the season. Uh, this card would have been really cool and really usable to a lot of people maybe two, three months ago, right? But right now, with the level of cards that we're going to be seeing coming onto this game, if you compare them to some of the center backs that have come out during this promo even, uh, like Mukiele, who is a, a lot better than him, Joe Gomez, who is 93 rated, a lot better than him, um, even like PK, I would say, is this better than, than Laporte, um, to be honest? This card, I know it's free. I mean, you have to spend your time. Time is money or whatever. Um, but I think a lot of people are going to end up going and do this because what else do we have to do this week if there's not any other grindable content uh, to do? Uh, it looks like the upgrade SPCs, we're not really sure about those, what's going to happen with those. So um, that's this week has a lot of questions. We honestly have a lot of questions this upcoming week. But today especially, um, with the guaranteed EFL TOTS, I'm really, really, really watching Twitter. I'm watching to see if guys are finding that in the code because um, I don't think that guaranteed SBC would be coming in the code. or it, I think it would be in the code if it was coming. So I'm kind of watching foot watches, Twitter and stuff like that to see if that's actually going to come out. Not really sure if it is. Um, but yeah, if there is panic, I really hope they put the SBC out today on Sunday to show us what that can do because that's going to paint us a picture of what's going to continue to happen with these team of the season so far card items and if there is panic selling and if there is um a uh a little bit of panic on these cards because of the guaranteed spc which i think there should be so i'm really really curious about that but um talking about these cards in general uh, these cards are getting kind of low, man. Like Brandt was 290 on Friday night in, in the peak. Casemiro was 170 all day today. Godin was 130 most of the day today. Felipe Anderson was like 930. Thiago was 180 this morning. Moussa Dembele was like 130k most of the day today. Courtois was 115. So a lot of these cards are dropping in price. It looks like weekend league sell off to me. Are they flippable into Sunday? I don't really know about that. That'd be a bit risky. Um, but I guess, you know, if it rose once it could rose again or it could rise again. So maybe just keep an eye on some of that stuff and in, into this weekend. These cards have a lot of supply though. So I don't know. It had to drop a lot for me to get interested in it, uh, at the moment for me to get interested in that stuff, stuff that you can be doing today though. And this is stuff that I would recommend for a lot of you guys. If you are on the market, if whatever comes out today, content wise, Watch the panic sell on other out of packs, special cards for birthdays, shapeshifters, stuff like that. Watch the panic selling on that, especially if it's Premier League cards, right? Premier League cards. Watch the panic sell on those because the, the Premier League cards are what we're really, really, really going to want to be looking for this next week. All right. This next week on the weekend league. Uh, for, you know, like a Friday night rise, maybe some Friday morning panic selling. We're going to be watching a lot of Prem cards. This next week is where you focus on Prem because that's the stuff that's going to rise the most as people buy link investments to team of the season Prem cards when they do come out. This hate Bauer guy, man, this guy was like 250 or 260 K this weekend and he's 235 right now. Yeah, he was, uh, let me check the hourly graph. What was he on Friday? Friday morning, he was 230. 234. He went to 265. What was he all the day today on Saturday? It was like 267, 270. Dropped on a 230, 43 at one point. But uh, that might have to be a situation that I have to go and look at right now because that card is uh, dropping a lot from weekend league sell off. And it might be a flip opportunity. You can still trade in this market, man. Uh, especially on an out of packs card like this one. My favorites, right? Out of packs. I say it all the time. I talk about them all the time. These are the cards that fluctuate the most. Is there one? 231 with two minutes left on a bid. I feel like tomorrow or maybe in the morning, I could get a sale there in the 250. So if I can get that for like 235 or below, I will do that. Uh, but you can still flip cards. I'm actually flipping some of these team of the season cards right now. This Casemiro I bought for 150K with a shadow, weekend league sell off. People are trying these cards out like mad. Uh, people are trying a lot of these cards out. So that's why I'm talking. I was looking at Musa Dembele here with the Hunter, sold at 138. I'm pretty sure Musa Dembele right now is uh, somewhere around like 120K flat or 115,000 coins. If I could find the right Moose Dembele. 
Uh, is it this one right here? Yeah, this one right here. So let me take a quick look at this with a hunter because I always recommend doing these sorts of trading uh, with the new cards that come out. Chemistry style trading with the new promo cards, it absolutely works. I don't see any right now for like 130 or 140, but this kind of trading is something that you guys can do. 139 listed overnight. So I know without the hunter chem style, he's like 120. So if I could find somebody that sees his price and flipping at 120, and like, all right, I'm done with him. I'm gonna sell him for the end of the weekend league. And they list him up at 120 with a hunter. Then I'm really interested because I know that I can sell that at like 135,000 coins. And that's solid, solid profit on a card with this amount of tax on it. So you can definitely still trade at the end of the weekend league sell off. Just be careful though, um, because I, you know, it, it's a lot of weekend league sell off, man. There's a lot of people that are playing weekend league this weekend. I mean, even I'm playing weekend league right now. I'm in the middle of it. So uh, just be careful with the weekend league sell off. If there is a guaranteed SBC today, I would expect it to be the EFL before anything else. I don't think it would be the team of season most consistent yet. But just to prepare you guys and think ahead throughout this week, if we see stuff added to the code about team of the season guaranteed packs coming, that's going to spark a lot of panic. Think back to what we had a couple weeks ago with the party bag SBCs and what we saw, like a guy like this hate bower, right? Or uh, some of the other cards that we saw with the panic selling on them. I caught that bid just in time. I'm glad I remembered that. But if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, what we saw with these cards was a lot of panic selling leading up to the SBC. And then obviously, you don't pack the card that you think you're going to get. It's an untradeable, non-repeatable SBC. And then after that, the card prices just rise uh, because people go and they buy those cards back. So if we see that happen with the team of the season, guaranteed SBC, that's like the buy time for most team of the season cards during TOTS. Last year, that was like the buy time for all these cards. When the Prem came out, when it was Bundesliga, that SBC was released on Tuesday. And, you know, like the panic that was leading up to that SBC literally was the buy time because people during the week, um, they're going to want to try these cards out a little bit, especially right now with not a lot going on in foot. If there's any objectives that people can complete and, and grind and do with some of these team of the season cards and just trying cards out with people having a lot of time right now on their hands because they're at home because of, uh, you know, quarantine and stuff. There's going to be a lot of people that try these cards out. So that's why I'm saying watch these team of the season prices. If we don't get a guaranteed TOTS SBC, uh, then that's going to get really interesting as well. And, uh, you know, the, the time to buy these cards might change week to week. Uh, but I'm really, really hoping we get the guaranteed SBCs because that is like a centralized point of panic where it's going to be a really, really good time to buy in on a lot of these cards uh, and stuff like that. I want to talk about fodder to round off this video because a lot of you guys are wondering, hey, can I buy fodder? Should I buy fodder? Is it at a good price? Is it up? And speaking of these SBCs again, of course, we have the potential for a guaranteed team of the season SBC, which is going to make fodder shoot up just like the party bags, right? If you guys remember what happened during the party bag SBCs, I'll click on Parejo and I'll show you. It's so obvious to see when those SBCs were released, man. Uh, I think the first party bag we got right here, right? 24K, boom, it goes back down. Boom, here's the second one, right? 26,000 coins, boom, goes down. Oh, there's a, th a, th a third one released, boom. Goes up to 30,000 coins and then back down. This is what guaranteed SBCs can do to the fodder market. Right now, uh, fodder is low, right? It's It was lower earlier today before the Ali Watkins SBC and a lot of people have been saying, hey, buy your fodder. I haven't bought any fodder yet. Um, do I feel like I maybe missed the boat a little bit? Yes. Uh, but really we need big time SBCs for that to happen. And today with our SBC content, I feel like it was just, um, it was just kind of lackluster with the, we got a pack supply SBC right here and Ollie Watkins. So today's content for me was kind of lackluster. I don't know if that means they're going to put out stuff today on Sunday uh, they've put out upgrade packs before on Sunday. I could see 81 plus packs or 80 plus player picks coming today. Uh, and that could be upgrade packs that we do for the rest of this week. Uh, but in terms of fodder, um, I would say if you haven't got in, maybe try to get in on bid. If you want to risk it, I think they're going to run more lightning rounds today uh, during team of the season. I mean, they're probably trying to get one last 
cash grab. And I do think they're going to try to run some lightning rounds today because it would just make sense uh, for them to try to, to make some money off of that. And I would expect to see those today. Uh, so maybe you do see um, a little bit of a dip in fodder. If we don't get any SBCs today on Sunday, then if we see a dip in the fodder market, then I would I would consider getting in on some fodder if it goes a little bit lower. But you know, to me, I think we're gonna get some sort of SBC today if we do get the guaranteed tots, because I'm recording this before uh, I see anything in the code. I don't see anything in the code right as, as of now. So um, yeah, today's kind of a, a big question mark, but fodder in my eyes, is still low on the grand scheme of things. Uh, it's going to continue to rise, as, of course, as we could get, you know, an icon SBC that could come out to drain coins, a team of the week SBC, depending on, you know, if it's an 83 rated squad, a lot of people would go and be interested in doing that uh, and stuff like that. So uh, I'm, I'm just saying, be careful with the fodder. I like team of the week cards as fodder more than I actually like the actual gold cards. Um, so get on footbin, do a little bit of research. Uh, but a lot of the guys that are in this week's team of the week, if we have more lightning rounds today, I think are still decent buys. Javi Martinez is probably 27K. A little under 27K. This guy, like 25K, is, is a good buy in my opinion. 25K for this guy is great. 86 rated center back, Spanish and Bundesliga. Incredible, incredible links. So, uh, and with these no more team of the week moments coming into this game for the next uh, basically month, a little over a month month and a half i do expect i'll take that i could not get him never mind i do expect a lot of these fodders to rise up because they're going to continue requiring uh team of the week cards in these sbcs and uh obviously if they're not supplying them with new team of the weeks and uh new moments cards coming onto the market then they're going to be running out of supply at some point that's why i mentioned i think they're going to drop a team of the week uh and sbc at some point but you know, buying this guy 25K is almost no risk. You might have to hold him for a while, so I don't think I would go unassigned. But I like the inform fodder better than I like the gold fodder because the gold fodder is still a little bit too high, in my opinion. Again, I think a lot of people were told today to go buy stuff because I saw guys like Harry Kane today who was actually 37K before lightning rounds. And uh, he went up during lightning rounds, which literally makes no sense. Uh, it looks like a lot of the 89s are still chilling around 40K. 88s are at 30k, 87s are at 25. So I would really like to see them drop down a little bit more. Um, but if I only think that's going to happen today if we don't get any big SBC. So we'll be monitoring that close today. Watch for more weekend league sell off today, right? Like I use Mbappe and Neymar as uh, as really good like point guys to just know and see what the market is doing. Uh, Mbappe is down a little bit. It's starting to come in. Like the weekend league sell off is starting to come in. I think you're going to see more of it today on Sunday just because people are really, really trying to grind out all their games that they can to get the team in the season player picks. I think you'll see Mbappe closer to 400,000 coins, maybe like 24 hours from now. He's down already like 10K. Neymar is already down a little bit as well. He's in the 550s, it looks like. Neymar was like 570 at one point Friday night. How low is Neymar exactly? 555, 553. So I do think Neymar is dropping. It looks like the weekend league sell-off is starting to happen. So if you want to be risky tonight, maybe you look at some tots, um, some team of the season uh, community cards, and uh, maybe look to flip some of those um, because I don't think we're getting a team of the season community guaranteed SBC uh today i think that would be later in the week wow is this card really 226k right now are you serious flippin says it's 220 225 you know what i'm gonna give it a shot boys 225 for brant this is a very popular card i think he could be 250k again in the morning so you know what if i could sell this at 250 uh i'll list it for an hour and then i'll probably list it overnight after that i'd be very happy with that man because that card this morning was like 260 270 thousand coins and uh, I just got down for 225. So look for panic selling on some of this. If it's really meta, if it's really popular, if it's really hyped up, um, then you might see a little bit of a rise into Sunday. Again, it's risky to do that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you want to make some coins, hey, look at the open bids as well, man. Uh, I got this Godin today on an open bid. It wasn't crazy profit, uh, but I got him at 115 or 116,000 coins. And I sold them at 126. So it's really not that crazy profit, like five, 6,000 coins of profit. 
Um, but open bids on a lot of these cards, there's going to be a ton of open bids, especially with good chemistry styles like a shadow or maybe an anchor, um, especially a shadow for the defenders or for a guy like Casemiro that really needs that pace boost, maybe you're a catalyst on Casemiro. Look at open bids, man, in the weekend league sell-off, and you might be able to flip some of those cards. I would expect if we don't have any guaranteed SPC hype coming, you might see these start to trickle up into the week a little bit. So that's enough of me rambling for this video today. Just a cheeky little team of the season market talk. Not a ton went on today, man. Just a lot of speculative looking ahead in the market. What could come? What could we do to prepare and stuff like that? Uh, but of, of course, just not a ton of like actual concrete hard evidence and content on what's going to be happening because this is the first week and we have to kind of go through this week before we figure out what's going to happen for the rest of this week in terms of FIFA content. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.